<laughs> Y'all know what's in this cup, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what it do, motherfuckers? It's your boy, Faisana. 3 and 0, baby. I ain't coming in here to talk too much shit. I ain't make a hate week video. Because, let's be honest, fucking Cattle Fag and uh, RTL, all they do, they're a bunch of little drama queens. That all they talk about is flagging videos, this and that. These motherfuckers stay flagging videos. People wonder why I la left last year. They tend to forget that Cattle Fag went to having all his little buddies in his chirpy, chirpy room going to flag every Saints fan's video. So I took my videos down. Yeah, my video did get flagged. My account did not get taken down, clearly. But I took my videos down. I ain't got time for that shit. I really don't. So you motherfuckers that are asking, you know, why I ditched my team last year, why I stopped making videos last year, holla at Cattle Fag. I ain't did it because of Roger Goodell shit. I ain't did it because fucking... You know, we had the worst defense in the NFL. I wouldn't have ditched my team. I wouldn't have ditched the other video makers on here either. But I let each one of them know why I left. Because of that reason. These motherfuckers are still, that's all they talk about, bro. That's all RTL talks about. That's all Cattlefag talks about. They ain't got no fucking lives. So therefore, I ain't got time for them bitch motherfuckers. Straight the fuck up and down. I ain't got time for it. I'm a grown fucking man. I got a girl. I got a life. She got a kid. I'm helping trying to raise this little motherfucker. I mean, this this little fucker always wants to play with trains and shit. No, bitch. We playing fucking football, man. No. No fucking trains. I don't care if you're three or not. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of busy these days. I ain't got time to be making hate week videos for motherfuckers I don't even like. You know? So as simple as that. If I if we had lost, I would have crowed up for Cool Town. That's it. All right. I ain't got time for these drama queens, bro. But uh, let's get on to that game. Fucking dude, Sean Payton had a perfect game plan in this. He was not running the ball. We killed these motherfuckers with PT and Sproles in the second half. I was wondering why we weren't running the ball. I figured it was because they they front is kind of nasty. They got a nice D, all right? But but we had a game plan, and I see that after watching the game. And we executed it perfectly. Breeze on fire again. Jimmy Graham, god damn, dude. This motherfucker is just killing shit. Last two weeks, he's put up over 30 points for me in fantasy. This dude is murking shit. I mean, this motherfucker is clearly the best tight end in football. If Jimmy Graham is not the best tight end in football, someone please tell me who is. I'll wait. No, I won't. But, um, it was fucking 7 to 10. I don't forget what it was going into halftime. Oh, it was 7 14 going into halftime. Then we just fucking threw these motherfuckers in the ditch. You know, it was a great game. I wish I would have gone. But I thought it was going to rain all day, but I didn't. So I, I chilled at home, watched the game with my girl. It was fucking fire. Couldn't ask for a better Sunday. Plus, the motherfucking Falcons. Chirpy, chirpy, talking all that shit, how good they are. These motherfuckers came and get by with Weatherspoon and fucking Steven Jackson hurt. These dudes are fucking sorry, bro. That, man, Falcons, y'all are fucking terrible. Losing to the fucking Dolphins. And yes, AFC, Miami East, I said the motherfucking Dolphins. Dude, don't, don't fucking start typing like you fucking think the, uh, like the Falcons are elite. What? Elite teams go to conference championship? What the fuck? Elite teams win Super Bowls, motherfucker. What are you talking about? Bro, I always liked your videos. I always thought you was a cool dude. But the Falcons elite? What? What? What the fuck are you talking about, bro? What are you talking about? The fucking... The Falcons are not elite. They're far from elite. These motherfuckers choke in home playoff games. Get blown the fuck out. They've won one playoff game. One playoff game. You think they're elite? 
You think they're elite? Seriously, bro? The Falcons are elite? Who the fuck? Are you, man, stop trying to make your team look better because y'all beat the Falcons at home. You tripping. You fucking tripping. The Falcons are far from elite. You want to see an elite team? Well, guess what, motherfucker? You got an elite team coming after you. You, you 3 0? You 3 0? Oh, guess what? We 3 0 too. Guess what's going to happen? Welcome to 3 and 1, motherfucker. Y'all ain't for real. Y'all are not for real. Look, y'all, y'all have a nice little team. Y'all have a nice little squad. But remember, it's the beginning of the season. What was it, last year, the year before? Fucking Buffalo was looking like the best team in football starting off 3 and 0. I think they went even went to 5 and 0 or something like that. Then whoop, boom! That's where you motherfuckers are going to go. Come on. Don't don't get those three wins twisted because you coming in the fucking dome next week, motherfucker. You're going to know what an elite team is. The motherfucking Saints. That's elite. We're elite. The Patriots, elite. The Ravens, elite. The Packers, elite. The Giants, I couldn't. You know what? They are elite to a certain extent, but it takes ESPN running their mouse about them to play well. The Falcons are not elite. They're far from elite. They have a good squad. Elite? No. You're the only person that thinks that. Well, maybe Roddy White thinks that. But they're not elite. Stop trying to buck up your wins. They're not elite. You got elite coming, motherfucker. 